Hello and welcome back to Let's Play James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, well, we completed the game, more or less, the, the storyline anyway, uh, the single player, by defeating that guy right there, Diavolo. So yep, all of the story missions are done, but that's not the end of it. Oh no no no, because this game has quite a lot of extras. Uh, which we'll go through some of today, not all of them, um, but particularly the two things you unlock for completing the game, which are the MI6 Combat Simulator and the MI6 Survival Test. So let's get going with these first, and then um, I'll show you some of the other stuff as well, particularly with the multiplayer. Okay then, so as you can see, we are in the VR, virtual reality thing that we saw right at the beginning of the game. Um, when we were doing the tutorials and yep as you may imagine oh god that music um, uh, as you can see in the top right hand corner there is a round one so it's pretty obvious what this thing is it's a uh, sort of a firefight type of thing with a uh, oh give me a gun uh, give me give me a desert eagle yeah with rounds of enemies that we have to take out now the first one starts off quite simple if I can shoot him, oh dear. But they do get harder and harder, more and more enemies. There we go. Oh, and the music restarts every time as well. But the, the enemies do change in terms of um, their placement, their behaviour, uh, their weapons, their strength, things like that, their damage. But this place is pretty funky. Oh, here we go, yep. And so it begins. Oh man. Again though, this is only round two, it's not very difficult. Oh man, you can actually run across there, I didn't even know that. Uh, okay, so, let's try and get a few rounds done at least. And listen to the lovely music. Have I mentioned how lovely it is yet? <laughs> there we go. Round three. So yeah, as you can see, it's not. there's not much to it. Uh, except for the fact there are 50 rounds to this thing. Give me it. Oh, crap. Oh god, run away. There are 50 rounds, um, and on the 50th, they just uh, consistently spawn endlessly. So that's fun. <laughs> um, let's just take care of some of these guys chasing me. No, the guy, the guy right near me would be a good one to shoot first. There we go. Oh dear. Oh no, they're beating me up. Run away, Bond. Run away. Oh my goodness, yep, there's quite a lot. So... If you don't suck at this game, I'm sure this is quite quite fun, because I know some people like that whole sort of um, round firefight deal. Oh my god, there's so many of them now. To, to be honest, I'm not too interested in this. I think it's it's a nice little feature, but it's not, it's not anything too special. But then again, I think we should be pleased that we had anything. You know, there are... They didn't have to put this in there, so... It's a nice little... Um, that's armor there, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice little... Uh, feature I suppose uh, there are some more things though I, d I just want to finish this one round I will finish it I don't want to die either because that would just be the end of it that would be the end come on Hiya. I wish I don't know I wish the, the walls maybe moved or something like that like a you know like so it's more like you're in the Matrix, more like in a virtual sim simulator, holodeck thing. There are a lot of guys now, aren't there? They don't really seem to be dying or, or disappearing. So you know what? Let's uh, let's put Bond out of his misery. Damn, my six and their virtual training. Ow, ow! They're just like bullies. No, don't grab me. And there we go. So yeah, there's a uh, there's the. MI6 Combat Simulator. Where are you going to take me to, game? Take me to the menu, please. Okay, so we even get some stats for it as well. Ooh. Oh, that's quite interesting. Um, accuracy and efficiency tells you how many rounds you cleared. Mm, two. Well done, me. Uh, we will not save. And let's have a go at the MI6 Survival Test, which is very similar but slightly different. Okay, so as you can see, kind of the same, 
Same room, same enemies. Except the only thing that's different about this one is you'll notice there's no round one, round two at the top. Instead, this is simply survive for as long as you can. The the enemies will just constantly spawn. It's almost like the 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 round fifty of that previous one. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, it's it's straight up survival, which I think. Uh, it's I can't really say if it's better or worse. It's exactly the same to be honest. Uh, it's just a slight, slight, slight tweak. Uh huh. Um, but some of them, I think this is this is the same for the previous one as well. The combat. Some of them can only be taken out by um, combat, and that's maybe why some of them weren't dying. But yeah, they do have certain parameters. Some of them, certain things you have to do. Do you have unlimited ammo though? I do wonder. Yeah, you must do. Otherwise, how would you be able to kill them all? Maybe you don't. Must have to pick them up from when they drop them. Fair enough. So, yep. How have I still got a score of... Oh, six. Okay. And now I'm dead. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. There's the uh, survival test as well. They're, they're a little bit lame, but I don't know. I can't really feel too angry about them because they're, they're there. At least they're there. And uh, maybe I just haven't got the patience for them, but that's what you get. Accuracy and efficiency. Terrible. Blah, blah, blah. We will not save. So, that's those two. There would, in fact, be one more thing you unlock if you had got... All golds throughout the storyline. That's a pretty tricky thing to get. But if you had managed to get 27 golds, uh, you would have unlocked a gallery. This is the thing I really wish that um, I could have done, but I just I'm not that good at the game. Uh, it's basically a like it sounds. It's a, it's a gallery, like an art gallery, where you can walk around and you can see loads of the. Um, concept art and production art and models and, and you know things like the models are even put into display cabinets so it's like a proper gallery you have things like Jaws Jaws's teeth and um, Yayakov's hand in like a little display cabinet and you can go and look at them um, the guy I mentioned last episode Frozen Treasure he actually did unlock the gallery so if you do want to have a look at that check his channel out because it's I just thought it was really cool um, you have the music in the background, you can just go a little, a little wander around a gallery and view some virtual art, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I kind of wish I'd unlocked that, but um, yeah, I didn't, because I'm not that good. I did get all the Bond moments, but the Bond moments don't actually unlock anything, so that's a shame. <laughs> I mean, they're still nice to get, but they don't actually unlock anything at all. Um, whoops. Okay, so uh, you may remember that last episode... I said that at the end of the credits there is a little video that plays, basically a little behind the scenes thing showing the people recording uh, all the voices and things like that. Well, I will slot it in here. It's pretty good, it has John Cleese and Pierce Brosnan and all, you know, all the Shannon and Elizabeth, all those people, uh, just giving a little bit of background as to how they made the game. I've always felt with these kind of games that the more real they are, the better they are, you know? And the reality of these games is very, very close to the reality of the Bond movies. I remember going to the Bond movies myself when I was in my very early 20s and coming out, walking slightly oh. differently, <laughs> kind of beginning to act it out. It's a great temptation, I think, at least for all young males. He's a stud, he's hot. My mom knows who he is. I remember watching as a child, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond. I've met young kids out there, and I don't think they've even seen the Bond movies. They've heard of the Bond movies, but they connect straight to the game because that's where their head is at. They're in the game world, and they play all the games that are out there, and the Bond ones have always been the most successful. For me, gaming is very high stress. I'm very competitive. For me, it amps me up. I'm like, no, I'm gonna make this work, and I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna get there, and it's a big deal for me. I play Serena St. Germain. I am an American geologist working in South America, and I help James Bond defeat the villains. It's amazing for me to be involved in such a great project with so many amazing actors, Judi Dench and William Dafoe and Pierce Brosnan. Beautiful hunting. First. We take over Russia, then we unleash our little nanobots on the world. I play Katjana Donova, and I'm an ex-KGB agent, and I'm a real bad girl. Well, we started today by scanning my face. 
with this high-tech machine, it's a cyber scan machine where you see completely everything from all different angles so they get exactly the way I look. I can't wait to play myself. To play myself myself. I wonder how that's gonna be. <laughs> I just have to say I had a ball recording the song for everything and nothing. I did something musically that I've never done before. Number one, video game. I'm actually involved in animation as well, so I have all these things going through my head when I'm in the booth. Well, the great thing about this game is that the, the kids get the chance actually to be Bond, and so they have the relationship with me in the game that Bond has with me in the movies. I provided you with a device called a steering wheel, 007. Perhaps you should try to find it. Ah, the old Q lab. It's just like coming home. You've got the cast. What they've done here is they've created the whole ensemble of a Bond movie within the world of video games. I've seen other people crack at it, but this time they've got my likeness and they've got my voice. Bond. James Bond. It's lovely that, that Bond is really so loved and that it's out there on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, we're missing making a movie this year, so the, the game is there. So again, that was another nice little feature to put in the game there. Didn't have to, but it's always nice to see, you know, the, the people behind the voices, even if sometimes they do look the same. Um, yeah, just, just seeing their views on things. It was a bit promotionally. Some of the things that uh, John Cleese said was a bit, you know, cheesy. But still, uh, interesting nonetheless. So to end off this extras video, let's have a quick look at the multiplayer mode. Now I can't go into too much detail because I haven't got someone here to play with me. But uh, I'll just go through some of the modes they have and what they consist of. So, cooperative. Can I quickly load up? Yes, I can. Okay, so I just had to go sort out some uh, controllers and things. But uh, as you can see, I've made some profiles. We've got Joe and we've got Muck. So, yes, we've got a few characters to select from. You do unlock more uh, as you progress through the uh, multiplayer mode. So I'm going to go, I'll be with uh, Feng and this person can be Lotus, there you go. So, here we go, would you believe it, the multiplayer mode has their own sort of campaign. Yep, uh, let's go for the Tunisia chapter. I'm not going to play this properly at all. Uh, let's do chapter mode, why not? Uh, yeah, sure. Agents, we are sending you to an isolated area in Tunisia near the Gulf of Gabes. Your mission is to investigate an individual known only as M. Sapper. Gather what information you can, and report back to MI6. Agents, you need to infiltrate the nearby palace, most likely the headquarters of the operation. Avoid all contact with the local population. Oh god, uh, okay right, so as you can see, it's pretty much just like the single player, except you're not Bond, and it's split screen. It's great! So you haven't got Bond sense or anything, but you have still got the weapons, and you do eventually unlock gadgets like the um, the nano suit and the Q-Spider uh, later on in the multiplayer campaign but yep yeah, it's got its own storyline I think there are uh, 13 13 more missions you can play with a friend oh god this is difficult controlling to <laughs> yeah I, I can't do this but you get the point and um, the the missions involve a bit more cooperative work so you might have to like right here for example you have to unlock the doors. You will need to work together to open this gate. Yep, thank you. Thank you, M. That's what I was just about to say. So we need to press X at the same time on these. I think so. Can I do this? There you go. See, oh man, I'm so good. I should just play these games by myself. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I just think that's that's crazy. There's still 30 more missions you can play. And these are all different settings, different, different storyline. Um all different level designs and things like that it's, it's just it's really really nice amount of detail in that and um, very impressive so there's that this is just a straight up normal playthrough but if we go back to the um, menu there are different modes you can play of that storyline and all the different missions here, Tunisia and uh, I think they go to Egypt and places like that so let's have a look we will not save so we've got cooperative, that's just straight up co-op teamwork. We've got race, which is, um, as it sounds, you're against the clock. It's more, um, cooperative is work together. These other three are more like 
head to head. So race against the clock, who can do the mission in the fastest time, but at the same time still working together. So that's quite interesting, you need to work together but still try and beat the other person. Uh, scramble mode is for the best score. You can set up certain parameters to get scores from the types of death and things like that. So who gets the most score at the end of the level and also arena which is probably the most like bond multiplayer you'd think which is just um two to four players all shooting against each other in a um in a map like in a in an arena yep so a bit like a uh, golden eye sort of um i don't think i've unlocked anything so i can't do anything but a bit like the golden eye multiplayer in that sense both be sugs i can't okay yeah, I don't think we can do this, because yep, we haven't unlocked it, but you do eventually unlock three um, maps to play on, and one of them even has Jaws in it, and Jaws walks around and can kill you, which is pretty nice. You can't kill him, but he runs around the map and can kill you, which I think is a nice little touch. So yes, I think that's probably about it for the extras. Of course, there are all the other things like um, the... Uh, so I've told you the rewards for getting all gold if you get all platinums there are a whole set of cheats that you can unlock including the golden garn the platinum garn uh, slow down time more damage things like that better car handling all those cheats you can use in the in the st uh, single player um, and you can even unlock more characters to play as in the multiplayer mode such as classics um, odd job and Baron Samdi from live and let die so they even included a bit more classic bond in there you can unlock those characters through the uh, multiplayer campaign who so much stuff so much content so you've definitely got bang for your buck with this game for sure and uh yeah very very impressive for a game that's 10 years old to have such an amount of depth to it and uh, and uh, long lasting appeal so yeah that will probably do it for this let's play properly now this is the final part um just wanted to show some of the extras there before we ended it because as I've mentioned multiple times now they are very impressive so with that uh, I want to thank you all for watching this let's play I hope you enjoyed it and until next time goodbye <laughs>